Hey there, awesome physics students. Let's talk about how to add vectors together. We know how to add scalars. Scalars are just a number. So you just take them and you add them like normal numbers. We've done that all our lives. But vectors have to be done a little bit more carefully because they're sort of graphical uh, 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 directional beasts. Um, we're going to talk about how to do this with the tip to tail method right now. So let's say you have two vectors, uh, A and B. Let's make B point like this. And we want to add these two together. So how do you do this? Well, you, the, as the tip to tail method suggests, you take the tip of one and put it at the tail of the other one. Okay. We want to do A plus B. So um, let's draw A first like this, and then we'll take B, and with vectors we're free to move these around. As long as we don't change the direction or change the length, we can move them wherever we want. So we're going to move the, uh, the tail of B to the tip of A, like that, and then uh, the resultant, which is A plus B, begins at where you started, at the, at the very beginning of A, and then ends where you finish at the tail at the at the end of B. So this resultant is A plus B. Okay, so that's how you do that. So let's do another quick example here. Imagine A points straight up and B points straight down like that. How do you do those? Well, you take the uh, you draw A first, and then you take B and put it at the at the uh, the end, the tail of B at the tip of A, so this is A, and then B goes down like that, and then you begin A plus B is then where you started to where you finish, and I'm drawing these a little offset so you can see that's A plus B. Okay, so this is uh, when they're uh, parallel or anti-parallel, they function pretty much like numbers where you just add them and subtract them. There's a few other operations you can do with vectors. So if you have a vector a, uh, let's say it points in this direction like that, you can scale them. So you could you could take uh, you could think of two a. Well, two, two this is a scalar. I'm just multiplying that by the vector. That's just going to uh, as a scalar. The word scalar implies it's going to scale it, lengthen it, or shorten it. In this case, I'm making it twice as long, but that doesn't change the direction. So I'm going to need to make that twice as long as the original vector. Um, I can also think about um, what happens if I multiply this by a negative number. So what does negative a look like? Well, it, it's in the same direction as a in the same length, but it has the, uh, you just flip the direction completely around. So it's backwards from what it was. And you can do combinations of this too. So you could think about um, multiplying it by uh, half and that will flip the direction and shorten it. Okay, so we can do a combination of things here. All right, so that's, that's what we need to know uh, right now for working with vectors. There's other methods, but we're gonna leave those for a separate video.